everyone, Wayne from the CERNIN Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at a status update on the Mars 2020 mission. Now, last July, it was launched, and it should be due to rendezvous with Mars on February 18th. So just about a month from now, we'll see that mission rendezvous with Mars and release the Perseverance lander to hopefully land on its surface and even release that drone helicopter that it has. So in this video, I'm going to show you where it's at currently and also show you a really cool app that comes from NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory that you can use to track it on your own. You can install this app on your computer. It's called NASA Eyes. It can be downloaded at eyes.nasa.gov. I'll have a link to that in the description. And it shows you a lot more than just where the Mars 2020 mission is. You can find all sorts of cool information on satellites and how they study the Earth, we can take a look at other planets and other missions in our solar system, and even take a look at some exoplanets. So we'll do a quick look at that software and then find out where the Mars 2020 mission is and what it will look like as it approaches, and hopefully the Perseverance lander makes it to the surface. So once you have installed NASA's Eyes Visualization software and run it off of your computer, this will be the screen that you see. And there's a lot of really interesting things that we can do with this really awesome program from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory from NASA. Now they have the Eyes on Earth section, which will let you take a look at some of the data coming from the satellites that orbit around our planet. We have the Eyes on the Solar System, which will take a look at the other planets in our solar system, as well as a lot of the spacecraft flying around and checking stuff out for us. And they have Eyes on Exoplanets, which will let us take a look at some of the alien worlds that we have discovered so far. Uh, we'll just take a quick look here at the Eyes on the Earth applet. So we click start on that one, and it will load up. It'll ask us if we want to go into full screen mode. I'll stay out of full screen mode for right now. And then we see this nice view of the Earth with all of these satellites and their orbits around the planet. And there's lots of cool information we can see. We can drag and move around, follow the satellites around their orbits. We see the ISS orbiting around here. And this is all in real time. This is, while well, we have our speed set up a little bit, we can set it to real time one second per second, and we'll see things don't move quite as quickly. But we can also get some really cool information from these. We can switch to the visible Earth, and that'll give us a satellite image of the Earth over the last 24 hours, minus some of the gaps where the satellites couldn't get their pictures. And then we have other cool things like the global temperatures. We can see where it's hotter than average, where it's cooler than average. You can see the carbon dioxide levels around the world, and, well, that doesn't look too great. Uh, we do need to focus a lot on global warming initiatives in order to defeat this. But all sorts of other cool stuff that we can find here. But what we're really looking for is some other stuff flying around in our solar system. We want to find the Mars rover and see where it's at on its journey. So we're going to go back to the main menu. That loads up, and then we're going to go into the eyes on the solar system, and we're going to go into the advanced view. Now, the simple view will give us a quick look at the planets and their orbits around the sun, but we want to see more than that. We want to see some of the spaceships that are flying around out there, so we're going to load up the advanced view. Now, there we go. That has loaded up, and now we can see all sorts of orbits around. We can see missions such as the Kepler mission, the Stereo Ahead mission, see the orbits of the planets out to Jupiter. We can zoom out and see even further than that. But we want to find the Mars 2020 orbiter. And that is this one right here. It's getting very close to Mars. So we see that it's coming up next to Mars. They're going to intersect pretty soon next month. On the 18th of February is the planned landing date for that Mars rover, and we can click to zoom in on it, and it will fly us right to that orbiter. We can see how it's flying around in outer space. We see Mars coming up there in the background, and we see it in real time, one second per second, and this is where it's at flying. Now, we can speed up time if we wanted to a little bit. We can go forward in time a little bit. And as we speed up, 
We'll watch as... Whoops, went too far. Got a little bit ahead of myself there. I want to back up to about February 17th, and we'll see. There we go. It coming very close to the planet Mars right there. And then as we speed up just a little bit more, get into the 18th, we should see those two intersect. Now, you do want to be able to watch this happening live. It would be nice. This is live data coming from the orbiter. And on February 18th, as they attempt landing on Mars, NASA will have all sorts of live streams for that. So make sure you come back and check out some other stuff about the Mars 2020 missions, as well as some of the past missions to Mars, which we can see some of the orbits of those in the background as we fly closer and closer to the planet Mars. And there we go. So definitely come back and check out our other videos we're going to have on some of the previous rover missions to the planet Mars. And on February 18th, make sure you check out the Mars 2020 mission and the Perseverance lander making its final approach to the Red Planet. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Again, my name is Wayne from the CERN Earth and Space Center here at Triton College. Remember to download that NASA EYES software at eyes.nasa.gov. You can learn a lot about our solar system as well as our own planet using it. It's a really, really cool application. Now, remember to check back in later videos for a look back at some of the past rovers to land on the surface of Mars. And keep your eyes out on February 18th for all sorts of live streams, of the Perseverance lander making it down to the surface of the red planet. Until next time, make sure to get out there and take a look at your night skies.